What's going on YouTube? Welcome to UFO Uncensored. I'm your host Michael A and we have your recent alien and UFO news. This week we're talking about alien technology from the 90s. The flying saucer filmed in the Andes Mountains. Fishermen ambushed at sea by a fleet of UFOs and more. But before we get to that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe with notifications because we have a lot of content on the way and you do not want to miss out. Now, without wasting any more time, let's get to it. Video has recently resurfaced from the 90s that may prove we are not alone. Check out the video that has everyone talking on social media. Hey y'all, look at that shit! Y'all sitting there! I'm telling y'all, look at this shit! Man, what the fuck is that? Man, there ain't no damn planes. You gonna tell me that shit ain't real, man? The fuck is that? Now it's fading out. The fuck is that, though? <laughs> the fuck? Three alien ships were seen this weekend descending in the skies of an unknown location. One ship has the appearance of a flying saucer, and the other two take the form of bright orbs. After several seconds, the flying saucer projects a beam of light, almost like it's initiating a scan to inspect someone or something. Many believe these objects and their tech come from alien origin. However, others suggested CGI. We could be looking at an alien ship searching for someone or something. That object is still unknown. The video was supposedly recorded back in the 90s in China, but there's been numerous reports reporting the same sighting in Italy and France. If this is real, this could finally prove we are not alone. Are we looking at alien technology at its finest? If you have any ideas, let me know down below. On to our next story. A new video uploaded to YouTube and has since went viral shows a fleet of UFOs that some say looks like an alien ambush. Fishermen 40 miles off the Gulf of Mexico recorded what appears to be a fleet of UFOs. At first, they sit stationary, but after a few minutes, they start to flicker on and off. The eyewitness who recorded the video stated, they stood there for 10 minutes and then faded away. Now, when this video came out, several people suggested these lights could be other boats. And at first, I was like, that makes sense. But then, I was like, hold up. These are experienced fishermen at sea, not random people on a boat. I don't think they would easily mistake other boats for UFOs. This could be five to seven UFOs in the middle of the sea. And as always, I wanna hear your thoughts down below. Next in the news, a flying saucer reported by several eyewitnesses during the weekend has caused some major controversy amongst the alien and UFO community. Some say it's a cloud, others say it's an alien mothership. This does not seem like a plane. This has gotta be a spacecraft. They're not moving. Today is December 23rd, 2020. Sorry that my camera is horrible. Zoom. It's hard to see, but it's two lights. And they're just sitting there. A new video recorded over the weekend appears to show a UFO in the form of a cigar shape. The UFO sat there for several minutes before disappearing without a trace. Some suggested the strange anomaly could be a cloud. However, UFO and alien conspiracy theorists believe this is a UFO because of the shape, the metallic material, and the glare from the sun. Most CGI videos always miss out on the fine details, but this one seems pretty solid. Now maybe, just maybe, this could be a cloud, or maybe not. The object does look metallic, and again, if you look close, you can see a glare that projects off the object from the sun. This one looks like a UFO to me, but I could be wrong. If you have any idea to what this object is, leave a comment below. Also in the news, 
video from the 90s has recently came to light reported to show a fleet of UFOs recorded by the Coast Guards. Check out the reaction and then we'll discuss. Video has resurfaced from 1994 and shows multiple UFOs ambushing the Coast Guards. The strange orbs seem to disappear and reappear in different locations, almost like time travel. I'm going UFO on this one. You can even see the reflection from the orbs that project off the water. Very hard to imitate with CGI. I know I said this before, but this is the Coast Guards. They have experience with seeing strange things. So I don't think they will make an amateur mistake and call random lights UFOs. We could be looking at a fleet of aquatic UFOs and as always I want to hear your thoughts down below. On to our next story. Reports of UFO crashing in West Virginia has many believing NASA might be involved in yet another cover up. See the video that has everyone talking in the UFO community. It's really weird. Can't see me anymore. I think it's just a plane, but it's like the... I don't think it is. It's not leaving a trail. That's burning. Something's burning. What is that? That, I mean, don't you see the... A UFO can be seen crashing down in the skies of West Virginia. In the video, the object appears to be on fire and moving at extreme speeds. Many believe this video passes the UFO checklist and proves we are not alone in the universe. However, others suggested it could be a chemtrail from a four-engine airplane. Now I did some research, and it was supposedly the Atlas V rocket launched by NASA. However, NASA has been involved in several alien cover-ups, so you really never know. We could be looking at a UFO crash site, and as always, I want to hear your thoughts down below. Now on to our next and final story. Supposedly in the stimulus bill that was just released, the Pentagon has 180 days to report all findings of the UFO phenomenon. What's the new nugget that, that's kind of interesting to those who pay attention to UFOs? Well, it's the fact that embedded in this Omni Act that's now been signed is the Intelligence Authorization Act for fiscal year 2021, and that has in it language on UFOs, and uh, specifically, or should I say UAP, as the phenomenon is known within government, unidentified aerial phenomena. And specifically, there is a request from the Senate Intelligence Committee to the Director of National Intelligence that a report be produced about the phenomenon within 180 days of enactment. So the clock is ticking. This is great. This could be what we all needed to finally prove we are not alone. Of course they say the full disclosure, but how much of it will actually be released to the public? Personally, I don't think much. So we are on the right track and the full alien disclosure could be on the way. UFO sightings are at a all time high. I feel we're at a point where it feels like the boy who cried wolf. We see so many fake videos that when a real one pops up, we call it fake or CGI. In 180 days or less, we could possibly get some truth. Maybe not all of it, but some of it. I hope everyone had a great new year. Keep liking, keep sharing, and make sure you comment because I love the discussion. Thank you all so much for all the support, and until next time, peace. That's so weird. Nah, not just fucking sitting there. Armageddon. Armageddon. Fisherman. That looks really weird.
can't see me anymore. <coughs> I think it's just a plane, but it's like the... I don't think it is. It's not leaving a trail. That's burning. Something's burning. What is that? That, I mean, don't you see the... This does not seem like a plane. This has got to be a spacecraft. They're not moving. Today is December 23rd, 2020. Sorry that my camera is horrible. Zoom. It's hard to see, but it's two lights. And they're just sitting there. When I say there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 